This video is made possible by Gerald Subaru. You know Subaru makes fantastic cars, and Gerald Subaru in Naperville matches those vehicles with fantastic service as well. Visit GeraldSubaruNaperville.com to start your new car search today. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach, and today I am driving a 2021 Subaru Forester Touring. Up front is a 2.5 liter flat four, and down below is a CVT. Now, I'm super excited to be driving this here Forester for a couple of different reasons. First of all, I love Foresters. Back when I first got my driver's license, I wanted a first-gen Forester so bad, and unfortunately, I never got one, but maybe I can live vicariously through this one. But the second reason I'm super excited to be driving it is because this is the touring model. It has a lot of bells and whistles, and I'm excited to show that off for you guys. Before we get on with the video, if you are looking to sell your car, click the link in the description below. Cashforcars.com is looking to buy your car with a clean title, salvage title, running, non-running, whatever it is. Get a quick and easy free quote with the link down in the description below. And once you agree upon the price, they will pick up your car in less than 24 hours. You don't even have to get off the couch. So let's get back to that 2.5 liter flat four. Well, it is a flat four boxer engine from Subaru. Subaru's been doing this for years and years and years and years and years. And I absolutely love the boxer engines. They do make sort of a distinct grumble. Subaru fans know what I'm talking about. And I'll put the horsepower and torque up on the screen. It's nothing crazy. This is a naturally aspirated motor. There is no turbo. I'll also put the fuel economy up on the screen, which is pretty impressive for an all-wheel drive vehicle. Anything in the 30s is actually pretty good in my book when it comes to an all-wheel drive vehicle, especially Subaru's all-wheel drive, which we'll talk about in a second. All right, SI mode. You're probably gonna hear a bunch of my equipment move. Don't worry about it. brakes work geez it's not fast however it, it's fine it gets out of its own way and if you floor it if you have to get around someone the vehicle will move and that's all i need this thing to do like i said paired to it is a cvt which means continuously variable transmission and it's okay i don't really like cvts in general however this is just a get around everyday car you're not going to be setting record lap times at autobahn country club so it's fine you don't really need anything else besides a cvt transmission last but not least like i said we talked about earlier this has symmetrical all-wheel drive and it's under my personal belief that Subaru has probably the best all-wheel drive system out of all of the manufacturers. It's been this way since, man, I, I mean, bef way before I was born. Subaru has always had phenomenal all-wheel drive systems, and that carries on even here in the 21 Forester. So with the drivetrain out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have two physical gauges. On the left is my tachometer, and on the right is my speedometer, and then I get a nice little screen in the center, giving me a bunch of information that I'm cycling through now. I like the screen, the screen feels modern, the gauges feel pretty modern. However, as I'm starting to see with vehicles in this segment, like the Kia Sorento or Hyundai Santa Fe or Nissan Rogue, they are starting to move more digital. So I think the gauges here in the Forester still look good, but if they don't go digital in the next couple of years, they'll start to look a little dated. On the steering wheel on the left, I have my skip track volume source info and phone options. And of course I have my buttons for that center screen down at the bottom left of the steering wheel. And then on the right, I have my radar cruise options. So this car is fitted with Subaru's eyesight system, which is their radar cruise blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, all rolled together into one thing. They call it eyesight. And I think it's really, really good. It's really cool. Radar cruise is one of my favorite features in modern cars, but when it's paired with so many other great safety features from Subaru, it really makes it something special. And I like it a lot. Down below the radar cruise, we do have our drive mode buttons. So I can actually put it into SI drive, which just gives you a little bit better acceleration, a little bit better gearing, which is showed by the little rays and it looks like a dyno graph on screen. So it makes the car a little bit more sporty, which is great, but not really necessary here in a Forester. Then at the very bottom of the steering wheel that I just noticed and I'm an idiot for not turning on is the heated steering wheel. 
A sh- every Chicago man's dream is a heated steering wheel and the Bears winning on Sunday. So I have 50% of that. Let's see if we can make that other part happen, Nagy. Overall, the steering wheel looks and feels great. Very, very premium. And this is part of the touring package is this leather wrapped steering wheel. It's not some base model plasticky looking thing. To left of me, I have a bunch of buttons. And my favorite thing is that there are no dead switches over here, which I absolutely love. This makes me feel like I got every single bell and whistle offered here in the Forester, because I did. I have my tailgate button, SRH off. SRH stands for steering responsive headlights. So what this means is when you actually turn the wheel, the headlights will actually adjust themselves to sort of look through the curve instead of just being stuck looking straight ahead. This is really smart technology from Subaru and that is what SRH means. Memory, gauge dimmer switch, traction control, automatic start stop on and off, blind spot monitoring on and off. All right, now I wanna talk about this final button for a little bit. I didn't quite understand it at the time of filming, but I understand it a lot better now. This is the attention system. So the Forester will actually use facial recognition to see if you're nodding off or looking away from the road for too long. This is a incredibly, incredibly helpful and safe feature for young drivers, people who sit on their phones a lot. It helps you keep your eyes on the road. However, in my opinion, it's a little bit too sensitive, actually a lot of bit too sensitive, and yells at you if you take your eyes off the road at all, even for just a second to look at the radio or to pick up your bottle of water. And so this is how you turn it on and off, but I will now play a compilation of me getting more and more frustrated with this feature as time goes on. But remember, you can turn the feature off, and I absolutely love that. Wow. <laughs> I've never had a car do that before. There it is, keep eyes on road. Wow, that is a nice safety feature. This, all right, this is starting to get a little old. All right, it's starting to yell at me a little bit too much here. Shut up. Shut up. Anyway, getting back to the center screen. Because I, my eyes are on the road. I was literally, oh. All right, to do the rest of the screen, we're pulling over. On the door, I have two different memory seat options, my power windows, power locks, and power mirrors. And overall, the door looks and feels great. It gets this nice, dark, chocolatey leather on it, as well as this well, sort of golf ball feeling material. Part of the touring model you'll see on the door is the Harman Kardon speakers, so this does have an upgraded sound system, which is phenomenal. Up at the top of the dashboard, I have a very interesting auxiliary screen. So. I have a bunch of different things I can cycle through here on this screen. One of my favorite part of modern Subarus is this screen. So let's go through it now. First of all, I have my eyesight page. This is just showing me all the sensors that are currently working. Then I have my telemetry page. It's showing me which wheels are doing work and the tilt of the vehicle. Then I have pedal acceleration percentage, my eyesight in the middle, and then my angle again as well. I have my weather, which is absolutely amazing for camping or road trips. I have a compass with the upcoming street. I have my Apple CarPlay, distance till empty, my clock and date, and my information set. I can change some settings, things like that. I absolutely love this screen from Subaru. A couple other Subaru models get it, like the Subaru Ascent, and I think it's genius. It's this other little sort of monitoring screen that has nothing to do with the infotainment and it just makes me feel like this is a more purpose-built, rugged vehicle. You know, Toyota Corollas don't come with telemetry on them. This is meant for off-roading. This is meant for adventuring. And that's very clear based off that screen. Moving down to the actual infotainment screen, I like it. It's pretty high quality. It has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is phenomenal. And of course, what I look for, my Subaru travel link. I don't really have any cool or crazy apps Although I do have like Pandora, things like that, but nothing really too interesting. Now, backup camera is pretty nice. It does have a couple different levels of gauge on. I can turn my parking sensors on and off from the screen as well. And the lines adjust when I turn the steering wheel, changing my trajectory, which I really, really like. And really, it does everything a backup camera should do. Then down below the radio, I do have a CD player, which is interesting for a 2021. And I have a bunch of different buttons for my app, radio, media, map, things like that, which I like that it has physical buttons. 
Down below the center screen, I do have my climate control options. I have dual zone, auto, defrosting, mirrors, mode, things like that. Pretty basic climate controls for 2021, but it's nice that it has them. And it's very, very nice that the climate controls are not in the screen. Normally, I always say this in cars, I don't really like it when climate controls are in the screen, but especially with this one, because apparently if you try to use the screen while driving, it's going to yell at you. So if you wanna change your climate controls, you can actually just adjust them physically, keep your eyes on the road, and keep your car from ratting you out. Then I have a nice little cubby hole. You'll find your USBs in here and things like that, nothing too crazy. And then the shifter itself, the shifter feels nice. A lot of modern Subarus have the shifter, like the Outback, and it feels good. It does have piano black on the top, which I'm not a huge fan of because it just, it gets fingerprints really easily. But other than that, I think it looks really nice, looks modern and looks clean. Then I have the X mode button. So aside from like sport mode, like I said, SI drive, I can actually change my terrain mode. I have snow and dirt mode, or I have deep snow and mud mode which is really, really cool. What this does is it basically tells the car that, hey, you're not gonna be on dry pavement. Grip is your top priority right now. And it actually changes the upper screen to show the telemetry as well as snow and deep mud. It takes off automatic start stop. So you're not, you know, deep in a rut. And if the car comes to a stop, it just shuts off. That would not be good and things like that. So if you're gonna drive on loose terrain, anything but asphalt these are great modes to have and this is a pretty adventurous vehicle like i keep saying this car can do it all and so i'm glad that they give you modes to really conquer all terrain with next to that we have our power parking brake and brake hold button absolutely awesome features i really love it and then to the right of that i have my heated seat options these buttons are a little bit outdated and the only reason i say this is because i actually drove a 2010 Subaru Outback yesterday just for a friend it wasn't for a video although I do have a video on a vehicle like that and the buttons looked pretty much the same so these look dated but they work and right now it is currently 16 degrees outside and I am pleasantly enjoying the steering wheel warmer and the seat warmers very very much but rounding out the center console we do have two cup holders so of course we have to do the big friggin bottle test and unfortunately the cup holders are a little bit too skinny to accommodate the big friggin bottle so unfortunately the 2021 subaru forester gets a fail in the center console all you'll find is just a 12 volt outlet and then we got to talk about the seats. The seats are finished in the same chocolate leather that you'll find on the door and bits of the dash. I really like these seats. They are power, they are heated, they are memory, and they're everything I want from a modern seat. However, speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's do a back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2021 Subaru Forester Touring. And first of all, I just got to comment on the space. Wow. My knees don't have a prayer of hitting this front seat. Headroom is good. I'm 5'11", fit with no issue at all. And this is, in my book, this is the perfect size for an SUV. I'll talk about it a little bit more later on, but this is a large second row, a very comfortable second row. I can drive adults and it'll be comfortable, it'll be fine, it'll be normal. I always feel like a child sitting all cramped up in back seats and stuff, but this actually feels great. I feel like an adult, I feel like a regular human, and I absolutely love that. This is a awesome sized vehicle. We'll talk about the cargo space in a second. But few features I get in here, I have heated seats, two levels of heated seats for either of these seats, which is very, very nice, part of the touring package. And I get two 2.1 amp USB chargers, which I absolutely love. So people don't have to stick their cords that they got at five below all the way up through the middle of your beautiful car. I love that. I do have a little fold down cup holder, which still has the plastic on it and it looks great. Very, very nice that you get two cup holders. It's pretty solid when you put it all the way down. That's about it for back here. I really, really like it, but let's talk about the rear cargo space and hatch really quick. All right, so we're on the back of the 2021 Subaru Forester Touring. Power tailgate, absolutely love that. And a couple things to note back here. First of all, the Harman Kardon speakers also back here. This is a sub, absolutely love that. I love Harman Kardon. The space back here is pretty good. I do have this little privacy cover. I can 
pull out if I'd like. I get a 12 volt outlet. This is always a big thing for me. I always look for these in the backs of vehicles like this. I get these nice little hooks and then I get these buttons to fold down the second row. I absolutely love that. Of course, you can remove this and you have a ton of space in the back here of the Forester. However, these do not fold it back up like the Explorer ST will do. So unfortunately, you have to actually get out and go around and pick them up like a normal human, but that's fine by me. Down here, I do have some extra storage, which is very, very nice. Of course, these are the touring floor mats um, because this is a new vehicle. They haven't put them in yet. That is for the first owner but great space and again this really emphasizes my point of this is the perfect size vehicle tailgate button lock button bada bing bada boom it's not overly large but it has a very comfortable back seat and very good cargo space in the back now we got to talk about the looks i really like the look of the subaru forester i've always thought that they were good looking vehicles and that's just reinforced here by the 2021 i think it's a handsome suv and overall there's not really too much to say on the looks other than that i don't think it's a stone cold killer but again like i said i think it is a handsome suv and i'd be happy to own one and have one in my garage Speaking of exteriors, if you are legally required to run a front plate on your vehicle in the state or country that you live in, but you think it's too ugly, then click the link in the description below and get yourself a con plate. The con plate holder is a suction cup holder for your license plate that goes on the inside of your windshield. This means you can remain legal when driving around, but for pictures, for shows, it's easily removable from the windshield, so the front of your car looks its best. Click the link in the description below, get your own con plate, and keep your car looking good. Now we gotta talk about the Subaru Forester as a whole. Well, let's talk about the things that I don't like. I don't like the attention system. It's way too touchy. That's really the only thing I dislike about the Forester. Other than that, I think the power is adequate. I love the drive modes that you get. X mode is great. The infotainment works pretty well. It has Apple CarPlay, which is all I need in my life. And that's it. It's comfortable. This is the touring model. I love the steering wheel heater and seat heaters. I love the panoramic sunroof. And the last two things that I love is first of all, the size. I think this is the perfect size for an SUV. This competes with the CX-5, the Toyota RAV4, the Honda CR-V, Hyundai Santa Fe. I think overall this is the perfect size for an SUV. And the reason I say that is because it's a two row, so they're not trying to squeeze a third row in, but it's still larger than a compact SUV. I really genuinely think that if you have a kid or two, or if it's just you and a significant other, or just you and your golden retriever, I think this is really truly the perfect size. If you have more than two kids, definitely look into the Subaru Ascent, or just start looking at minivans. Of which I'll leave the Subaru Ascent review at the end of this video, if you'd like to check out the three row from Subaru. But I really love the size. I think this is the perfect size for me, for my lifestyle. I don't feel like I'm piloting a hotel room. It's a great, great size. And the last thing I want to talk about with the Forester is the fact that it's just straight up ready for anything. Like I said, it's 16 degrees here in Chicago. It is frigidly freezing. Half of the test track today is covered in snow and slush and salt. And this car is ready for it. It is ready for anything. This is a vehicle that you could take on a camping trip and drive it halfway up the mountain. This is a car that you could take across the country and not fear about weather conditions. Some say better than a Jeep, but here at Shooting Cars, we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. Subarus will always have a special place in my heart. They're just down for anything all the time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Gerald Subaru in Naperville for letting me take out their 2021 Subaru Forester Touring. This thing is absolutely great. Gerald Subaru has tons of cars on the lot. Not only Subarus, but they also have a large selection of used cars. They're part of the Gerald dealer group and they've treated me very, very well. Everyone I've talked to, super, super informative, super nice, super kind. Even the guy I work with at Subaru in Naperville, his name is Nick, and I drove my 1931 Ford Model A to Subaru four months ago, and today he brought it up. He remembered that I had this old car. Some small little fact about me. 
he remembered. So they're very, very thoughtful people, very kind people, and very helpful people at Gerald Subaru. So if you're looking for a new Subaru, please go check them out. Their information is up on the screen as well as linked in the description below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.